Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Sagittarius for August of 2012. And this also applies if you have a Sagittarius ascendant. So my Sagis, this month there's going to be a lot of focus on your finances, particularly your relationships, and also, of course, your work. So let's start out with the fact that Mercury is still retrograde until the 8th of the month in your ninth house. So this is not going to be a good time for anything connected with the law, any legal type of contracts, anything connected with authority, any kind of communications you need to make. Wait until Mercury goes direct after the 8th of the month. Once it goes direct, it's going to be much easier for your communications, for learning, for um, anything connected with technology, much easier to get contracts signed and not have to repeat and make a lot of extra effort um, after uh, if you do things important things during that Mercury retrograde. Now we've got Venus doing a lot this month. Venus the planet of love and finance and Venus at the moment along with Jupiter is in your seventh house of relationships. Well you couldn't ask for better if you are looking for a relationship, if you want to be in a relationship, if you want to, uh, the, the relationship that you're in to grow into something more. It's a wonderful time for learning about how you are in relationships, how you operate in relationships. It's also going to bring a lot more people into your life and the opportunity for you to enjoy these people. With Venus there and Jupiter together, truly, that's probably going to be one of your best opportunities for meeting somebody really special. So for those of you in that market, or for those of you already in a relationship, really time to uh, do something special with the person that you love. Really see their good side. Stop focusing on the negatives, focus on the good things and see if you can make those grow. With Jupiter in that si in your seventh house, you could really make them grow and not notice so many of the things that really irritate you. We've got Venus um, after the, about the, mid, the eighth of the month moving into your uh, eighth house. So this, if you do start a relationship in the last three weeks of this month, um, you could be in a very intense relationship. This is intense for you. Also, this is, could mean money, somebody helping you out financially. If you need a grant or you need just some extra money, this is somebody bringing resources to you and helping you. But certainly an intense relationship. We've got that opposite Pluto as well, so this could bring intensity to your finances. Uh, you need to watch that you're not taking out loans and big debts during this time, although there may be a tendency to want to and think that it's going to work out well, or somebody maybe to rescue you financially. Be careful. Make sure if somebody's helping you, there are no strings attached. Very important, make sure it's not conditional, otherwise this whole thing could blow apart and, and come into a very destructive relationship. We've got sun uh, in your ninth house for the first three weeks of this month. So great time to take a trip, Sagis, to go on a vacation, to enjoy some higher learning, higher education, to go off to the library, to read some books, but something that involves higher learning and a bit of an adventure. Time to have an adventure this month, um, Sagis, and the sun into your 10th house towards the end of the month. So time towards the end of the month to look at your career, your work, shine a spotlight on it. And also you may get some appreciation, long awaited appreciation. We've got Saturn with Mars for much of this uh, month in your 11th house. Um, so you may get have some frustrations with groups or teams of people that you're working with. You may feel as though, oh, they're not listening or um, they're, they're putting a lid on you. You can't communicate clearly enough. There may be some arguments, some disagreements. Um, try to decide clearly about where you will compromise and where you will not compromise. And you may find certain relationships and friendships even ending during this transit because they may in fact just blow up um, because you've had enough for a long time and the Mars energy just says, that's enough, I can't take any more. Um, towards the end of the month, Mars coming into your uh, 12th house, uh, you may feel, find a little bit irritable, a little bit annoyed, feeling as though your energy is going inwards. It's a wonderful time for getting a lot of work done on your own for doing things peacefully, quietly on your own and not expecting anybody else to necessarily contribute. That's the best thing to do for those last few days of the month. 
We've still got this ongoing square from Pluto to Uranus, from your second to your fifth house. So there's still a lot of learning going on as far as uh, finances are concerned for you. And for those of you who've been thinking of starting a business or maybe have a business and it's not quite gelling, you need to look at different things, other opportunities, think outside the box, use that Uranus in your fifth house, but don't take big speculative risks. This would not be a time to hope that you can just come into a big windfall. No, this has to be thought through carefully and don't waste resources and waste money. It's important that you are careful with your resources during this very long Pluto transit of your second house. The main thing to focus on this month certainly will be some learning and some growth and also some pleasure in your relationships. There you have it, my Sagis. I thank you very much for listening and thank you for favouriting and passing on these videos and sharing and commenting and coming for readings. I'm always delighted to hear from you. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.